Oh, I got too close. Uh... Game? What? Why is he? Why does he look like he's swimming in the bridge? What, you've never gone bridge swimming? <laughs> no, last I checked, uh, I had no way of doing that. Yeah, that, sh that was shit, that was in the Olympics last year. Huh. I didn't know there was Olympics last year. I don't suppose that Dragon will fix this an animation. I, I mean, should I just point out the fact that we're digging into a bridge and not falling through it? Yeah. Look at this little body going. <laughs> Getting a bit of work out, aren't you, buddy? No! Oh! Yeah. I hope you got a jelly donut. I do not. Well, you're screwed. Get in the ball, man key. Thank you. I learned, I learned confusion. Or side beam. They forgot confusion. I am confused by that statement, apparently. They're confused that it forgot confuse. Uh. Man key, the pig monkey Pokemon. It lives in groups in the treetops. If you lose sight of its group, it becomes infuriated by its loneliness. Nope. In the box. Well, you don't want to call it Jelly Donut? No. Brock was a rock type. Jamly or enemies. I don't know why you're su suggesting that. Do you, do you not remember the anime with the Mankey? No. Ash literally throws uh, throws a rice ball at it, calling it a jelly donut. Oh, when does he when does he do that? That's like very early on in the uh, original 150 season. Well, okay, I should oh I should state I've not seen a whole lot of the original uh, anime because my folks didn't want us watching it. Man, you got lucked out then. That anime was trash. Was this thing a 150 or was that Gen 2? I forget. What? What you're fighting right now. A Venom? Oh. That was Gen 2, wasn't it? I don't remember off the top of my head. I want to say... Yes, but I am not sure. Teacher we will correct myself if I am wrong. Okay, so there's like a Y there thing. I need to... Uh... Why would that be? No, no, no. <laughs> Why not? Why the pun? Why not? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're picking up a feather. And now you're gonna... No, 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 no. Stop chasing he the donkey! Holy smokes! <clears throat> I okay. told you not to fight the donkey! Oh my gosh. Lex has healed my not particularly smart whatever he, he's supposed to be or she actually because I just remember Lynx is female. Actually, now that I think about it, is Lynx my only female uh, Pokemon? Yes, Lynx is indeed my only female Pokemon. What are you doing? Uh... <laughs> oh, he eventually gave up. 
Okay. Surprised it didn't just jump off. Lynx, what are you doing? What are you doing? Should have got a Windows OS. Oh, Lynx, what are you doing? Come on, it's just a bridge. You can walk across the bridge. You can. Like apparently, even the Steam Deck's better than Linux. Getting to interact with the locals wherever you go is one of the <laughs> best parts of traveling. <laughs> Mankey is not happy that we are ignoring him. Tell you what's that jelly donut? Wow, you're quite the character. <sighs> Aha! So. You were probably were wondering why I was wandering around with him as long as I was. Um, I knew for how, how to evolve this guy, and it requires making him run around using the lot of, using the Let's Go feature. Turn, that's a lot of work to turn it into a Mac OS. Unfortunately. Um, he's not the only one that does that. And I think we do actually have one of the other ones that require evolving through the Let's Go feature. I don't think we've seen the third one, though. Better than doing it through trading. Oh, I... Pawmot, the hands-on Pokemon. This Pokemon normally is slow to react, but once it enters battle, it will strike down its enemies with lightning-fast movements. The worst part is, is I actually knew something. What? So the worst part is, is I actually knew someone that had a link cable specifically just for trading. <laughs> and suddenly it is raining again. He's also the only person I've ever known to even have a link cable. The user bestows a loving blessing, reviving a party of Pokemon that has fainted, restoring half. <gasps> what? Oh, it's only got one PP for obvious reasons. Oh. I didn't know this game had revival skills. This is the first time I think we've had something like that. That's new. I've never heard of this move before. Oh, that's useful, but what do I use for place it with? I guess we can get rid of Nuzzle. Cause I don't think we should pass up Revival Blessing. That's really good. Assuming it works the way it's supposed to. But yeah, that's why I was running around with him as long as I was. Under normal circumstances, I don't think I would have done that. Hmm, something tells me we may be approaching the uh, Dark Cruise. Yeah, now, that I, now that I think of it, I'm honestly surprised that they never made a freaking Pokemon walking game that actually that like makes you actually get up and walk. Isn't that what Pokemon Go is? Yeah, but that game is based on how far you travel, not whether or not it's thinking you're actually walking. I mean, you can't be going a certain speed. Uh, yeah, there's still ways to trick it, though. Yeah, I... Mean, I think there's still ways to trick a walking game. You just, you just shake your DS, but still. Oh. Hello. I haven't run across one of you before. That's a little more promising. Oh, that's not <laughs> good. You are squishy. Why are you so squishy? And it outlevels the other one. Oh, you're very squishy. Good. I'm glad that did not work because. I don't think Caps the Kid could handle. Probably that. Oh, oh God, either way. No 
Magma, the num Pokemon. Magma of almost 2200 degrees Fahrenheit courses through its body. When it grows cold, the magma hardens and slows it. Ah, Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of the team star bases. I take it this means you decided to join my operations? No, it's just I finally need to come here for level reasons. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Who are you? Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? What? Who are you? Exactly. Names. Clive. Yeah, with with hair like that. Oh, and how long you've been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Kit? H have we met? I think we remember the Trump hair. That's not even quite that kind of. That's Elvis hair. Yeah, I guess so. Freaking Pompadour. <laughs> Shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star. That's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Yeah, I'm on Cassiopeia's side. Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great. That sells it, then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia. Was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. Yeah, his history, quote-unquote. In that case... I won't press you further. Hang on. I think I know who this is. I think I know who this is. Is this Clavel? I think this is Clavel in disguise. I mean, I've been thinking that since, like, this first started. The animations kind of make me think it. The, uh... The fact that it's an older character... And the fact that Clive really if you got to if if you're trying to pretend to be somebody else, at least don't Oh at least pick a name that's not close to your actual name. Good. I, <laughs> I, th I think it is him. Probably not gonna know 100 percent for certain for a while, but eh. Good, now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes. What would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of the team star's bases. Then you'll defeat the boss of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses with their from their roles somehow? That's right. Team star is made up of five squads and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Uh, yeah. The, the, the dark type one. Ah, uh, yes. I can see them over there. On the other side of those is the base proper. And sorry, within that base lies one of your targets. A squad boss. A group of delinquents even build that. I don't know. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each beast under your name kit. 
They're basically decorations of war. Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. Oh my goodness. Sasha! Please! I didn't let you I'll in for you to cry it. more. No. Cry about it. Don't 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 give me that. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they sit down from the roll. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base is a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your guard variety trainer would be outrun long before they get anywhere near that boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation kit. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back up. I'll back you up from afar. Oh, real helpful. All right, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to support. I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as kit support. Your car is just one. All right, I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, Kit. Ha! Ha ha! I have no idea what you mean. But if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive. A normal academy suit just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh-huh. Sure, Clive. Hello, fellow children. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and he's gone. I don't even want to know how long he's been following us. <laughs> 